Hello everyone and thanks for joining us for this week's Solid State Watch. I'm Shannon Davis, the web editor for Solid State Technology, and now let's take a look at the top headlines we've been tracking from September 20th through the 26th. Applied Materials and Tokyo Electron this week announced that Applied Materials agreed to merge with Tokyo Electron, creating a giant in the chip and display manufacturing tools sector. An all-stock combination values the new combined company at approximately 29 billion U.S. dollars. The company will have a new name, dual headquarters in Tokyo and Santa Clara, a dual listing on the Tokyo Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ, and will be incorporated in the Netherlands. This merger could give the new company control of, a, control of as much as a quarter of the entire market. Other top applied materials rivals include Vico Instruments, KLA 10 Core, LAM Research Corporation, and ASM International. The companies expect to close the transaction in mid to second half of 2014. Micron Technology announced this week that it is shipping two gigabyte hybrid memory cube engineering samples to its lead customers. The hybrid memory cube uses advanced TSVs, vertical conduits, that electrically connect a stack of individual chips to combine high performance logic with Micron's DRAM. Micron's hybrid memory cube features a two gigabyte memory cube that is comprised of a stack of four gigabyte DRAM die. The solution provides an unprecedented 160 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth while using up to 70% less energy per bit than existing technologies. The hybrid memory cube has been recognized by industry leaders and influencers as the long-awaited answer to the growing gap between the performance improvement rate of DRAM and processor data consumption rates. RFMD this week introduced the world's first 6-inch gallium nitride on silicon carbide wafers for manufacturing RF power transistors. The company is converting all gallium nitride production and development to 6-inch diameter wafers using its existing foundry. Gallium nitride technology supports broad frequency bandwidths and high breakdown voltages in a small area. A 6-inch gallium nitride wafer offers over two times more usable area over competing 4-inch gallium nitride wafer platforms currently available, resulting in 2.5 times more RF power devices per wafer. RFMD expects to complete qualification of its 6-inch gallium nitride platforms in 2014. Worldwide semiconductor manufacturing equipment spending is projected to total $34.6 billion U.S. dollars in 2013, which is an 8.5% decline from 2012 spending of $37.8 billion, according to Gardner Incorporated. Gartner said that capital spending will decrease 6.8% in 2013 due to diminishing 28 nanometer investment from a softening of the mobile phone market. Dean Freeman, research vice president at Gartner, said that weak semiconductor market conditions that continued into the first quarter of 2013 generated downward pressure on new equipment purchases. However, semiconductor equipment quarterly revenue is beginning to improve, and positive movement in the book-to-bill ratio indicated that spending equipment will pick up in the remainder of 2013. For more industry headlines during the week, be sure to follow us on Twitter or like us on Facebook. For Solid State Technology Magazine, I'm Shannon Davis. Thanks for watching and see you next week.